Okay, and welcome to day one of this three-part training series on trading mindset mastery. Now, you're probably here because you're experiencing some psychological challenges in the market, or you wanna get funded, or you wanna get more funding, or you wanna scale your funding, right? So what I'm gonna be sharing with you today, tomorrow, and the day after are some profound principles that I've learned in my journey and I've created in my journey um, to help myself as a trader become a better trader. And then I started to pass these on and um, teach other people um, and help other traders become better at what they do as well. So I guarantee if you implement these principles as I explain, you go through the training and you, and you start to implement them, you're gonna see a shift in your trading results. You're gonna see a shift in your um, overall psychology as a trader, which is gonna reflect in your results as a trader. Now, a little bit about me before we get into day one of the training. Um, I started trading six and a half years ago, um, and it was a few years into that journey when I picked up my first round of investment. It was a $100,000 investment. This is before we had prop firms or before I knew about prop firms. And it was my psychology that held me back when I picked up that initial round of investment. Um, I couldn't manage the larger amounts of capital. I started to go into a drawdown. I started to revenge trade. I started to have all the psychological challenges, the resentment towards losing, the sting of losing, going away from my trading plan. FOMO, all these things start to kick in. Um, and long story short, I ended up losing that first round of investment, which put me in a, a deep psychological hole. It was very painful for me at that time, um, but it was also the impetus for me to go off and start studying psychology on a deeper level. I was always, up to that point, I was always tinkering and learning about the human brain and stuff, but losing that first round of investment really pushed me down into a deep dive of study. I did a mentorship under Dr. John D. Martini, who was named the top human behavioral specialist in the world. Um, and he um, taught me a lot about what I know on the human brain, neurology, risk management, psychology, decision-making. Um, and I started to implement some of his teachings into my trading. I started to get better results. I then started to help traders and communities I was in at the time. And then I started to do more one-on-one -on -one coaching. And then I started to grow the education performance coaching business, which is now Master Your Trading Mindset. And then I started to consult for prop firms and I started to um, consult for education companies and that started to grow. So um, what you're gonna be learning today and everything in my, my 12 week program is my signature program that I created, which covers everything that I learned in that six and a half year journey, the 12 steps to mastering your trading mindset, to securing funding, etc. Um, but what you're going to be learning in these next three days is the synthesis. Um, it's part of the synthesis of the last six and a half years of myself being a trader and having those studies and having, um, having all that work done, working with hundreds of traders one-on-one, -on -one, having thousands of traders come through my program. So I have a very unique angle in the way I'm going to present information to you and the things I've learned, but I guarantee it's going to be useful. You're going to, you're going to learn something today, tomorrow, and the day after that, especially in day three when we get into those mindset secrets. That is... Um, groundbreaking stuff that nobody's talking about, but you're gonna have an edge knowing that information. Okay, so what are we gonna get into today? But first and foremost, just some, some housekeeping and maintenance stuff. Um, there'll be links in, in the description below underneath this video. Make sure you go in there and click that. You'll be able to download a toolkit. You'll be able to download an accountability checklist um, to ensure you, you stay on track with the work. I've put tools together to ensure that you go through and actually implement the work I'm gonna pass on to you today. We've also got access to our Discord community, so make sure you jump in there, you say good day, and you can you can message me anytime, and I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll respond, um, and I can give you some pointers on that. Um, but let's get into it, okay? Day one, okay? So day one or part one of the trading mindset training, we're going to be talking about congruency and goal setting. I see a lot of traders set goals that they never never achieve. Why is that? Why are a lot of traders incongruent in the journey? Why are traders having a lot of issues with motivation, discipline, motivate? Uh, Focus, all these things, um, lack of motivation, procrastination, lack of focus, they're all symptoms of not being congruent. I see a lot of traders say, I wanna achieve funding, but they never go off and achieve it. So today I wanna share my theories on how to get congruent, how to have motivation, focus, and discipline, and how to actually set a goal of, for example, let me get funded, and how can you actually go off and, and achieve that? And we're gonna be doing that today. I'm gonna to show you how you can set goals you'll actually achieve, okay? so. What's your why? This is such an important question. I've worked now with hundreds of traders one-on-one -on -one, and I, I get to work with traders who are very successful um, and traders who aren't very successful. And I, I can see a clear correlation between those traders who are successful. They all know their why. They know why they're trading. 
and it's deeply meaningful to them. Okay. The best traders have a meaningful reason why. So, so important. So where we're going to start today is we're going to start by defining what your trading why is. Okay. It doesn't have to be groundbreaking, but I want you to, to we're going to jump in the tool together in a second, but I want you to have that ready. I just want you to think, what's your why? Why are you trading? Okay. Now, if we have a shallow why, or it's just not that meaningful to us, right? That's what I mean by shallow. It's just not that meaningful to us. But we have a reason why that we just say, you know, this is why I do it. Um, or maybe you're not clear on your why. Um, what's going to happen is the moment the journey gets tough, or the moment you go into drawdown, or the moment things don't go to how you expect them to go, you're going to throw in the towel. So if you don't have a clear why, or you don't, you have a very shallow why that isn't all that meaningful to you, the moment the journey gets tough, you're going to give up. And I see this time and time again. So having a clear, meaningful why is, is very crucial because when you have a deep, meaningful why behind your journey, you embrace the ups and downs. And if you go into drawdown, if you lose funding, these things are inconsequential to the overall vision for, for your trading. So where we're going to start off is by getting clear on your why. The other thing here is if you're clear on your why, you have motivation, you have discipline, you have focus. Because we're all motivated, disciplined, and focused towards things that are important to us. If we just don't see something important, we're not going to have motivation towards it. We're not going to be focused towards it. We're not going to be disciplined towards it. Let's imagine one of your, the person you loved most was in trouble, right? And someone was about to attack them. You wouldn't turn around and say, nah, I'm just not motivated to help that person. You would spontaneously act to go and help that person because that person was meaningful to you. And it's no different with our goals. If our goals um, what we want to achieve is deeply meaningful to us, the most important thing to us, truly, then we're going to be motivated, we're going to be disciplined, we're going to be focused, we're just going to get it done. So we're going to start off by defining your reason why today. Now, it doesn't have to be glamorous, it doesn't have to be life-changing, you don't have to have a, a, a reason why that's you know so groundbreaking, right? it just has to be meaningful to you. And to be fair, it may just be to be able to pay rent for yourself. Or it may just be to, you know, have an extra level of disposable cash so you can go on a meaningful holiday with your family, right? It has to be meaningful to you. That's all that matters in this first section of the training. All I want you to define is the reason why you're trading. Why am I trading? Ask, you, ask yourself that question. Now, I know for me personally, the reason I started train, uh, trading uh, was a way to create a source of income to have that independence from a job. So I could then go off and build other businesses. I could then go off and develop myself. So for me, initially, what happened, this is a really important thing to, to recognize, is that my meaning why for trading was just to create a source of income. Now, here's the thing. When I got to that stage and when I was creating that source of income and I was independent from a job and I could go off and start other businesses, I then had to expand my reason why for my trading. And I had to become bigger than that because in my mind, I had reached my reason why I had no more reason to, to continue to trade. So when I got to that point, I had to expand beyond that and I had to recognize that I now need to expand my reason why behind my trading. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is start with what you know, start with what you can be certain of and let that grow. Like I said, it may just be to start off to be able to pay rent, to be able to be more independent in your life, to have that small source of income to better live. But you have to understand when you get to that stage, you're going to have to expand your reason why. Now, my trading runs much deeper than that. Um, and it's also an opportunity for me to go off and reach many other people out there and pass on the psychological principles that I'm certain in to help change lives as well. So my reason why behind my trading has expanded over time, but it just started in a way almost a little bit selfish to help create income for myself. And that's okay, at least initially, but you want to continue to think about expanding that. Okay, so now we're gonna jump in the tool. So make sure you have that open on your computer um, and you can go in there and make a copy of that. And we're gonna jump into that and we're gonna get clear on your reason why behind your trading. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in this top left region here. And all I want you to do in this first section is just clarify your reason why. Why are you trading? Okay, like I said, it may just be for yourself initially, which is fine. But as you start to get closer to that goal, to that reason why, you're gonna to have to expand it. When you're clear on your why and you can see it in your mind and it's meaningful to you, motivation, discipline, focus, they're all there. When you have a bad day, when you go on a, on a losing streak, when you go on a drawdown, 
you have something to push on beyond that because you've got a deep reason why behind your trade. And this is so, so crucial. So I want you to go in there and start clarifying your reason why, okay? Now, for me, like I said initially, it was to just be able to create income, to be independent from a job, right, a nine to five or a part-time job. So I could focus on starting businesses that would positively impact people around the world, okay? And now my trading has grown into, deeper than that, it's grown into an opportunity to impact traders around the world with my trading psychology principles. So for me, trading is a vehicle to go off and do what I love. And I, I really want you to get clear on what your trading why is in it. It doesn't have to look good, doesn't have to sound good, it just has to be meaningful to you. And you'll know because you'll feel it, you'll be like, shit, that, that's, that's, that's really meaningful to me. And that's why I'm trading and I'm clear on that, okay? So pause the video, make sure you get clear on your trading why. Again, start with what you know, let that grow. Start with what you can be certain of. Don't write down something that doesn't, that doesn't resonate with you. Just start with what you know right now and let that grow. Get clear on your trading why. Make sure it's meaningful. Make sure you can see it in your eye, in your mind's eye. Um, and then once you've done that, we're gonna move on to the next stage. Okay, now we're gonna go off and set some goals that you'll actually achieve. Um, here's the thing, a lot of people set goals that they never actually go off and achieve. And I think there's a few reasons why that's the case. We're gonna be covering those throughout this slide. And I'm gonna be giving you the, the proper way to goal set to ensure that you actually go off and achieve these goals. But now that you're clearing your reason why, that's also a driving force for doing the work every day that will allow you to achieve your goals. So what you're gonna see over this three-part training is that each step is progressive from the next. And we're gonna to continue to develop on these principles to ensure by the end of the three days, um, you've got clear goals, you're clear on them, you've got a deep meaning why, you've got a solid trading plan, you've got the proper mindset tools in place, and you go off and achieve your goals. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna set one year goals for every area of life, okay? Now, it's now time to set some goals, clearly defined goals for your trading in every area of life. Why are we setting goals not only for your trading but for other areas of life? Now, the main reason why is that if you don't go off and set goals and get clear on what you would love to achieve in the other areas of life, then a few things can happen. Number one, you can then be overpowered in those other areas and that can then become a distraction to your trading. Okay, so for example, if you only focus on your trading but you don't take care of your health and you later in life or in you know, a few years time you have issues with your health and you're not fit, you're not in good shape, you um, don't have mental clarity because of, of, of health issues, then that's gonna impact your trading. And you're not gonna be able to focus, you're not gonna be able to go to the charts and execute and, and be vital and be able to make money as a trader. So too, if you don't have goals within your family and you're disempowered in that part of your life, that's gonna impact your trading. You're gonna have arguments, you're gonna have clashes, you're gonna have all these types of things and that's gonna impact your trading. Or if you don't have other sources of income through business or work or you're disempowered financially, you don't have savings, that's gonna impact your trading because you can have a lot of stress on your trading to create income. So. I am a huge promoter, and if you've been watching my YouTube, um, and you'll see in the 12 week program, I cover this in detail. I'm such a big promoter of having holistic goal setting and empowering all areas of life, because if you don't, you're gonna be overpowered in those areas, and then they're gonna be a distraction to your trading. So as traders, you need to empower all areas, and you're just gonna become a better trader by empowering the other areas of your life as well, okay? So, make your goals specific and realistic. We're gonna go and do this now. We're gonna have very specific goals, we're gonna have realistic goals, and then we're gonna cover one extra step after that to ensure that you can build momentum every single day to actually going off and achieving these goals. So my question to you is, where would you love to be in one year's time for your trading? We're gonna start with your trading and then we're gonna go to the other areas of life. Where would you love to be in one year's time for your trading? And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, I wanna secure a funded account, which is great. I think that's such a great goal, securing a funded account, securing some capital, securing some, some funding and being able to scale that up. Um, so that may be a goal for some of you guys. It may not be, which is fine. It may be having three, it may be having five funded accounts, it may be having seven figures in funding. Each of you will be at different stages, but I want you to get clear on a, on a deep 
meaningful goal for you for your trading in one year's time. And I want you to get clear on that, okay? So we're gonna do that for your trading and then we're also gonna do that for the other areas of life. Where would you love to be in one year's time for your health, for your learning, your relationship, other businesses, your other work? Okay, we're gonna get clear on that whole picture. We're gonna jump in the tool right now and do that together um, to ensure you have clearly defined goals. Okay, so where would you love to be in your trading in, in, in one year's time? Okay, so project yourself out one year into the future. Where would you love to be? Well, I'd love to be managing $100,000 in funded capital. And I want you to get even more specific than that. Which funded company is gonna do that for you, all right? How much is that gonna cost? All right, okay, so you're getting clear on each of the components. We really wanna make this specific. And we should get clear on which funded company, how much is that gonna cost? Um, how, what's, see in your mind, how you're gonna be able to go off and, and accomplish that as well. This is really, really important, okay? And then you also wanna go in there and, and set other goals. And maybe, maybe another goal you have in your trading is being able to manage losses as a trader, okay? And maybe for that, you're gonna become part of the 12-week program and you're gonna study in depth what I cover in week five and implement that tool and use that tool every single day to ensure that by the end of um, by the end of the year, you've addressed a lot of the psychological challenges, and you can way quicker than a year. But um, you'll be able to manage losses, and when you take losses, they're not going to be an issue to you. And this is such a crucial thing, especially when you scale up to more capital, right? I know for me, when I picked up that initial round of investment, there was a big jump there in capital. And I just didn't have the tools to be able to manage my psychology and ended up losing it. So being able to manage losses as a trader and being able to take losses and not being bugged by them, that's what I teach in the 12-week program. That's another great goal to have. Okay, so get clear on your goals for your trading and goals for your health and fitness. All right, what's some health and fitness goals? Maybe it's a certain body fat percentage. Maybe it's a certain feeling of how you'd love to feel or certain confidence in yourself. Maybe it's being able to, oops, maybe it's being able to start a sport or a, you know, something like boxing or a team sport. Maybe it's starting going to the gym, personal training. Maybe it's a new nutrition, nutritional plan, right? So what are your goals for the next year? For your health and fitness and then what are the goals for the learning maybe it's a certain number of books maybe it's certain courses or mentorships you'd love to um, go to and attend then what are your goals for your business and for your work maybe you run other businesses what are the main goals there maybe you work a current job what are the main goals there okay and then for your relationships maybe you have intimate relationships or friendships that you would love to nurture and flourish because remember any area you don't empower is going to be a distraction to your trading so what are the goals there? And once you get clear on your goals in one year, one year time, make them specific, make them, um, make them achievable, because you don't wanna be setting such big audacious goals. Maybe you're you know, just starting out, you don't wanna be saying I wanna be trading a $10 million of capital in one year's time, because then if you don't accomplish that, you're gonna be, you're gonna be feel, like, feel like you've, you know, you didn't achieve anything. So make sure the goals are achievable, make sure they're realistic, but also stretch yourself a little bit and set goals that you know make you feel excited about working every day to accomplish that particular thing. Don't underestimate what you can accomplish in one year in every single area of life, especially with the thing we're gonna cover next. So pause the video right now, go in and write your goals for one year's time, for your trading, for all the other areas of life, get clear on them, make sure they're specific, make sure they're achievable, and then unpause the video, we'll continue on. Okay, now this may just be the most important part of today. Okay, high priority actions. Now we must set high priority actions to ensure we actually achieve our goals. A lot of people set goals, but they don't actually work towards those goals. or They don't know what to do, or they don't know the next steps. Setting high priority actions is the most crucial thing to do after you've set a goal, because now after you set the high priority actions, you can kind of forget about the goal, and then every day you can just focus on executing on the high priority action and chipping away at the goal and getting closer every single day. Now that you have set your goals, high priority actions every day will allow you to achieve them. Now the thought process here is you wanna be aware of where am I right now? 
have self-awareness. Where am I right now relative to my goal? I want to be funded with $100,000 in one year's time. Where am I now? Maybe I'm still in demo with a 60% complete trading plan. Okay, good. Where do I want to be in one year? I want to be funded with a clear trading plan, $100,000 in cap. Great. What's the highest priority action I can do today, right now, to move you one step closer to that goal? That's the thought process of people who achieve great things. They know where they are, they know where they, want, where they want to be, and every day they're working on the highest priority thing every single day to get to that goal, right? That's all, it, that's all you can ask yourself to do. If you're doing the highest priority action steps that day, you're doing the most any human being can do. So you want to get clear now, what's the highest priority action? We're going to get into the tool in a second and do this together. Let's say your goal is to be funded with $100,000 by the end of the year. You need to be hyper-specific with the action steps. I'm going to give you some suggestions on this when we get into the tool. Now, if I say back test, that's not specific. That's not an action step. An action step looks like this. 30 minutes every day of back testing my entry criteria for my trading plan on Euro dollar 2022 and refining trading plan with that data. That's a very specific action step. If I'm just going to say I'm going to back test, what does that mean? Right? But the action step is every day I'm going to wake up, do 30 minutes of back testing to refine my entry criteria in my trading plan, which is what we're going to cover tomorrow. And I'm going to get extremely clear on that. And I'm going to have that written down. And that's what I'm going to do every single day, 30 minutes, back test, entry criteria, your dollar, and then use that data to refine my trading plan. Done. That's an action step that you can schedule. Okay. So let's jump back to the tool now and let's start putting high priority actions in place. Okay. So by this point, you should have all these things filled in. You can also add in additional areas of life if you have other areas that are important to you. Now, let's say, for example, when you get funded with $100,000 in capital, what's the highest priority action step I can do today to get me one step closer? Now, it may be slightly different for people, different people watching, so let me just give you some general ones that you can do. For example, the first thing you wanna be doing after you have and learn a trading strategy, you wanna be developing a trading plan, which is what we're gonna be covering tomorrow. But what you wanna be doing is you wanna be creating a mechanical trading plan that covers each of the components of a great trading plan, which we're gonna to cover tomorrow. So what you wanna be doing initially is you wanna be back testing, like I said, 30 minutes a day is a great one to create this trading plan. And maybe you wanna to stick to Euro dollar 2022 to start off. And every day, 30 minutes, you're going to back test to fill in the template I'm going to give you tomorrow. And you're going to be chipping away every single day. And you're going to be filling in that trading plan 30 minutes a day. And probably within, you know, a couple weeks, you could have a complete trading plan, even less, depending on what stage you're at. Um, you could have a complete trading plan that covers everything. And you're clear on that. Now, what else can you do? What other high priority actions? Forecasting 30 minutes a day. So once you've back tested to create your trading plan, all you really need to do now as a trader is forecast every day. You need to wake up every day and forecast for 30 minutes to see any setups aligning with my trading plan. So every day you're coming in to the markets and you're having a look, are there any setups aligning with my trading plan? If it's a no, you don't trade that day. If it's a yes, great, you can execute. Now, another action step that you could be doing is uh, every three months is doing a deep review of your trades and seeing how you, the percentage of trades that you've taken are actually in alignment with your trading plan and making refinements to your process to ensure you're congruent with your trading plan or actually making refinements to your trading system to see if there are any different ways you can be doing things to getting better results. So you want to ask yourself after you put your high priority action steps down, if I back test 30 minutes a day, euro dollar to create my trading plan, if I then execute every day, if setups align with my trading plan, and then if every three months I do a review and a refinement to improve my trading plan, am I certain that in one year's time, I'm going to be funded? And if it's a yes, great, you've got the action steps in place. If it's a no, what else do you need? What else do you need to feel certain that one year's time you can accomplish your goal? Okay, so you wanna use this as a way to start working backward. You know what your goal is. Now, what are the action steps you do every day? Now, here's the thing. These things may tweak and change every so often, but 
you wanna have a base set of action steps that you can start off with, start with what you know and let that grow, and over time those may shift. You may tweak things, you may no longer back test because now you've got a clear trading plan, or you may back test less because now you have a clear trading plan and you can focus more on the execution side of things. Make sure you go in, pause the video, and fill in your action steps for each area of life to ensure that if you did those things every day or every week, in one year's time, you'll have your goal. Probably one of the more important steps in today's presentation is you wanna now go off and not forget to do the work. You know, you have a goal now, something that's meaningful to you. It's now important to do the work every day to actually go off and accomplish that goal. So, use a Google Calendar, for example, or a Google Keep or any sort of scheduling system to now take those high priority actions you've identified and schedule them into your day so you can actually get them done. So you wanna go into a Google Calendar, for example, and fill in your life, your life stuff. Maybe you have work, maybe a family time. Go in and fill all that stuff in first, sleep. And then in the, in the gaps between your work and all that type of stuff, you wanna start putting the high priority actions you've identified so you have time to work on your dreams, you have time to work on your goals. And you every day can focus on chipping away at these goals to ensure you actually go off and accomplish what it is you said you wanted to accomplish. Then fit in your high priority actions in your day. And you wanna see and visualize yourself executing on these high priority actions. You wanna see yourself turning yourself into the person you'd love to be and being the individual who is now in a position to get funded and achieve your health and fitness goals and achieve your business goals because you're doing the work every single day. Top tips. These are some important points you wanna pay attention to. If you're procrastinating with the task, it's probably because it's not that important to you. It's not actually high priority enough. So you wanna make sure that the, that the action steps you're putting down are actually important for you to do, for you to accomplish your goal. If you say things like, I should be doing this, I should be doing that, it's an indication you've injected that action step from someone and you're thinking you should be doing something, but it's not actually that important. So make sure what you're putting down as the action steps are actually important in you accomplishing your goal. And if they're not, get rid of them, or you may just wanna reevaluate and make sure you see the link of how doing that action step is actually important in you accomplishing that goal. Your high priority actions will adjust over time. Be fluid with them and you may adjust things, but start with what you know and let that grow. Get something down and start chipping away, start building momentum. The other thing you can do is jump in my Discord community and find an accountability partner, someone who will hold you accountable to doing these action steps, someone who's on the journey themselves. That could be very useful. Now, a bit of a recap. Here's a quick summary. First and foremost, define a meaningful why. What, 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 what is a shitty day? What is a few losses compared to something that's truly deeply meaningful to you? and a deep, meaningful vision for your, for your life and for your trading. Clearly define your one year master plan for your trading and for your life. And then set high priority actions that will get you to your goal and every single day execute on these high priority actions and build momentum to accomplishing your overall goal. Okay, now I want you guys to pay attention to your emails because I'll be emailing you tomorrow, day two, part two of this training. So go in and complete day one and then day two, I'm gonna be giving you some groundbreaking insights on how you can develop a seven figure trading plan. This is what I've seen from my best clients, what they're doing with their trading plans. I'm gonna be passing on these insights to you to ensure that your trading plan is top notch. You can start building consistent profits and start making um, some great money in the markets because that's what you deserve to do. So go off, finish day one, and then I will see you all tomorrow for part two of this trading mindset training. I'll speak to you all very soon.